him that their focus and their mind and their life itself would be built upon spiritual things. Amen. It's absolutely impossible, amen, to take somebody that's in the world, amen, and, and then to live a Christian life because their differences are so dramatic. They don't care anything about church. They don't care anything about uh, the songs of God or the preaching of God's Word. Amen. They're focused on everything like God. But after the Lord of the Spirit, then God changes our desire. He changes our want to. On the Sunday it used to be, amen, I thought of doing everything but going to church. That was my day to do everything else. Amen. But go to church. I thought church people surely, amen, had been cheated some way down through life. I thought all they do is go to church and go home. They go to church, they go home. They don't have all the fun I'm having. I hear the world doing this, doing that, doing all these sinful pleasures. I thought, you know, I don't understand what makes some people tick. Amen. And I was right. I did. My mind was blind. I couldn't think like they thought. I couldn't see like they see. I've got a man come to the church sometime. He's got a family member that comes there. Amen. He loves to hear me preach, but he has no concept of worship. He don't like the songs. He don't like the worship of God. He don't have nothing, nothing to do with none of that. He said, I like to come here when he got saved and go home. And his wife said, Where did one that is? I said, Because he don't have any concept of worship. He's never been born again. And so therefore, he doesn't have a way to worship. Amen. He's carnally minded. But he has respect for uh, the church and for the people. And he'll come and sit sometimes. Amen. I've struck a friendship up with him. I've been fishing for him for years. Never had got him, but I'm still asking. Amen. But you know somebody after they're saved, then they understand. It's like you walk out of one world into another world. You walk out of a natural world into a spiritual world. And the Bible said the God of this world that had our minds blinded, suddenly that hold is broken and our focus is enlarged and we understand spiritual things. Our eyes are open. And that the Spirit of God comes to dwell in a human being. And that's the mystery of God that the Bible spoke about tonight. The mystery of iniquity is that the devil was living in a human being. And then that the mystery of God is here that Christ, the hope of glory, amen, that made everything that was there in the beginning so big, praise God, as big as he is, but yet can be so small that he can live in the hearts of all these people, amen, by his spirit. You see, when you're born again, his spirit comes on the inside and he makes you a part of the kingdom of God. Amen. It doesn't come with observation that you can say it's here and there, but when you're born again, it's within you. The Spirit of God brings it within you. Righteousness comes. Peace comes. Joy comes. That's the kingdom of God. It's a happy way. Amen. I walked through the little church. I've been now over 24 years ago up on the hill. He's been to the Baptist church. Amen. Spoke up already this week and the morning that I got saved. But I was on my way to torment. I was headed in the wrong direction. But I've been told all the life, Kevin, you need to be born again. You need to be saved by the grace of God. Amen. I didn't understand it any more than Nicodemus. But as I began to read the scriptures and hear the preacher, Amen, I knew it was somebody in hell. That was sure. Amen. I never had what they had. Somebody said, oh, I don't know about all that shouting. All that noise they make over there. Amen. People didn't have to speak in the tongue. Can't understand what they say. That's sure they got to be in the devil. Well, I can tell you one thing. You may not understand it, but you never did hear the drum call like that. Amen. You never did hear that again. I was talking like that. Amen. I, I was in that world. I lived in that world. Amen. I never heard nobody talking in tongues in that world. Amen. That's a heavenly language, praise God. And if you don't understand it, don't worry about it. You can say, you will. You'll begin to understand. Amen. But the things of the kingdom of God, they're spiritual things. And they're spiritually discerned. And they're good things tonight. I knew what it was to be after the old man and seek the old ways of life and get pleasure the other way. I can tell you all about that. But I didn't know anything about what it meant to be a child of God. 
That day when I walked into that church and, and God began to deal with my heart, Brother Danny, even I knew I wanted to be saved. I didn't want to go to hell. I didn't want to lift my eyes up and tore me in. Amen. I wasn't a very smart young man. Probably I still not to a lot of people. Amen. But I was smart enough to follow Jesus the night I'll take it down. Amen. But I didn't know anything about praying. I didn't know anything about God. I didn't know anything. But I knew I didn't want to go to hell. Amen. And I began to think about what can I do? Did I not go to hell? And my old great grandmother's words come back to me. You need to be born again. Amen. You need to be washed in the blood of Jesus. She mentioned people of different denominations. I ain't going to get into all of that, but I can remember a lot of things she said. She said, honey, you're going to have to get your heart right. Amen. You're going to have to get Jesus on the inside. It's not enough to join the church. She said, don't you go around and shake no preacher's hand. Don't you let nobody baptize you tell you that that's all you need. Well, I don't know what she's talking about. But I said, all of it. I won't do that. And she said, you're going to have to be born again. You're going to have to feel the Lord in your heart, son. And say, all right, girl, now I hear you. I understand what you're saying. I didn't, but I told her, yeah, I hear you. Amen. I did the little more. But she was telling me all that. I did what I needed to do. And a man that uh, during that time, uh, amen, I told him one day, uh, just a little more. But I sent my great friend on. I told him I need to get saved. He comes to my house tonight. Uh, amen. And he came to ask me. He's a grown man. But I have a different belief. Uh, he said, save from what? I was a little more. I wasn't saved. Didn't know what to tell him. But if he's in this building tonight, I can tell him a lot. Amen. Save from hell. I remember the last conversation I had with 